I think we're dead. I think it's safe to say that we're dead. Okay, this guy's slower, so maybe we should focus on the snow guy. Come on, you can do it. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 16. Nomad miniseries always running zombies. Yes, I'm still on my holidays. You still see this miniseries until I'm back and then we're back to the main series Oh my god, we're in the middle of the night out in the woods because with the gamma all up We have to collect more wood We're gonna have to get our defenses up for day seven back in the village I hope we're not gonna get eaten alive because there's a lot of ferals around here. Oh my lord Either way, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode If you do remember to kick that like button in the balls spot the channel And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button. So let's get started Spoopy. The plan is to get to the trader in the morning to hopefully buy some tablets and medicine. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's very hard to hear. It's very hard to hear because sometimes the sound that you hear in the wind. Ah, and then my own character's noises make it sound like I'm actually being followed or somebody's running behind me. Your own footsteps are kind of <laughs> really scary as well. Anyway. Oh, what is what we need? So let's see how much wood do we actually have? 815. So that will make a couple of spikes. So I think we should just queue all of them up and then get more wood. Oh my lord. So anyway, the plan is to get into the trader, buy what we need, maybe even find a better gun, sell this one for 2100 and then maybe we get lucky to buy a good gun, but I think a good gun, like yellow or higher, costs like 1700. I'm not really sure, or 17,000, so I'm not really sure. But we definitely have a look at it. Maybe we get some ammunition, that would be really cool. Anyway. Back to listening out. And watching where we go. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a green zombie. I haven't seen one of those yet. He would absolutely tell me. There's another one. Oh my lord, there's like two. <gasps> and they're the big cops. They oh, man. These guys are hardcore. We definitely want to avoid them. Oh, my lord. Definitely don't. Oh, that's spooky. That's spooky. Oh, okay. What do we have here? I hope it's not a feral. Is it a feral? There we go. Got him. Oh, does he know where I am? I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Could have some fun with him, actually. If he just stops running at some point. Oh, okay. Come on. Can we hit him? Ah. Okay, let's just get his attention. I think we get him. Oh, my dear lord, he's so hard to hit. Hello? Seriously? Would you just stop? You? Oh, no. Nah. Okay, that's it. Hey. Oh my lord. There we go. Nice. Did I get your attention? Now? Thank you. Ha ha ha. Lucky. But it's actually come to this that we have to get these guys' attention by literally walking up to them because otherwise they just walk zigzag in a way. <laughs> At least we got some good drops. The AI path thing is actually today I read the news on Twitter. They're hiring. The, to the fun pimps are hiring and they're actually hiring an AI guy. They they actually asked for an AI guy, which would be absolutely amazing. I'm not saying the guys don't have a clue what to do. Like, you know, they probably do. They just don't have the time or the or the um, the resources to do it. But it's nice to see that they actually are looking to hire someone who's specializing on AI because this AI here could definitely do some improvements. Again, that's meant in the best ways of criticism because it's really frustrating when you have to walk right up to them and like, hello, here. <laughs> Just nipped a bit of a coffee there. And oh my God, the health. I was on 12 health and look how my health is going up. So that is the mixture between a painkiller and I think the bandage is one off and the bandage because when you take the bandage, it gives you kind of a healing buff as well. So between, we were at 12 health, oh sorry, 15 health. And between a bandage and one painkiller, we are now at, we have 10 more seconds to go. I think we're gonna end up at about 75, I would say. That is good healing. That means we got 60 healing from one bandage and one painkiller, which is really, really good. Yeah, 75, very nice. 
and we're freezing our balls off. I think our character has also uh, clothes on that cool down. No, actually, this is heating up. Wow. Okay, so we definitely have nothing on us that cools down. Everything just heats up. <laughs> I have to come up. I'm walking towards this car thinking, oh, there's another car and there is a bear. Did you see that move? I thought it was a bloody rock. <laughs> I actually was going to go up and hit it. Oh my god. It's a bear. It looks like a rock. Where is it? Over there now behind the car. Holy balls. Oh, unbelievable. I was going to get for some petrol and that bear is hogging the car. There is not going to be a chance we're going to get to that car. Oh my lord. Is he, wa is he walking back to here? Well, he is kind of alongside the car, so we theoretically should be okay getting the car. What do you think? I think we might be okay. I don't know. Is that a bad idea to go that close to the bear? I hope not. Oh. Oh, oh. Where is he? He's, is he? Is he walking away or is he looking at us? I think he has his back to us. Come on. Oh, that's good. That's good. I think he has his back to us. Oh shit, he's coming over. He's coming over. Balls, balls, balls. Okay, I'm not that brave. Balls to the wall. I'm going to I'm going to leave this zombie bear right there. Let him have all the fun there with the car. <laughs> I'm not like, yeah, you keep the car. Okay, you keep the car. I'm in the middle of fighting this guy. And he just literally hit me twice. And then he just runs away. He literally ran away. Wow. That was scary as balls because I didn't know what he was going to do. And shitty loot. I didn't know what he was going to do. Like, I, I was like, why is he running away? I thought I was like bleeding out or something. I quickly looked, but no. It's like, okay, I'm alive and he's running away. <laughs> okay. I think we're dead. I think it's safe to say that we're dead. Okay, this guy's slower. So maybe we should focus on the snow guy. Come on, you can do it. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! This guy is not as fast. But he's erratic. Oh, shit. Okay, come on. Let's get out of the snow biome. We don't want to attract another guy. That's what happens when you try to fight this guy to get some nice loot and XP. And then you attract a snow zombie along the way. There we go, nice. Come on. Yes! Whew! That was something else, guys. That was something else. That was tense. That was really tense. Oh, nice. I don't even know what we can use them for. I think we just sell them. But um, that was tense. That was really tense. And totally not worth it. <laughs> but at least we can get an extra bandage. Oh my lord, that gave me a heart attack. Oh, why, 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 why do I do these things? Okay, we have another 472 wood. I'm just here collecting wood, waiting until the morning so we can open, uh, go up to the trader and see what we're gonna get. I think the trader is going to be open, what, at 8 or 9? I'm not sure. I don't think he's opening at 7. He kicked us out at 5 to 10, so maybe he's actually open. Let's see. Let's ride over and have a look. We can always kill some things around there and get some more resources in case he's not open. But yeah, making yucca, by the way. Yucca. One cup. There we go. Just glasses. Yucca. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Drink, drink, drink. Perfect. And also, if you're after gas... Oh, let's actually loot this. I didn't see that there was a lootable car. If you need gas, use the pickaxe. Gives you a lot more gas than your actual um, stone axe. So look at this. 11, 11, 20. That is really nice. Another 20, 13. So we actually get a lot of gas from that, which is really, really good. So look at that. Nice. 82% filled up again. Very lovely. Loving it. Excellent. Look at all that. Nice. 257 if we want to sell it. But why would we? It's awesome. We don't need to sell. We might sell that though and buy a new one. We'll see if the place is open. Murphy's Law. I was nearly full of health and making loads of bandages. And of course... Ah, 
And of course, I have to run over a mine. And I lost nearly all my health again. Very annoying when that happens. Very, very annoying. Ooh, hello. I'm gonna eat that. Oh yeah, I forgot. I changed my middle mouse button. Just got all weird on my mouse. So I had to change back to E because it wasn't actually doing anything. There we go. Oh, I love it. Mid-air swing and she didn't get it. Nice. So it's just, um, I have to get used to now. I can see myself already clicking the middle mouse button like a maniac going, why is this not working? Okay, let's sell first all the shits we have here. And see if that is a thing. Now, we have another bandage I'm making. Ah, balls. There we go. Nice. Excellent. So we have five again. Oh, man. That's what I spend most of my mornings at. Like getting one bloody aloe vera after the next to make bandages. Only to get knocked down again. Okay, you're open, which Your is good. Is welcome here. Now, SMG barrel. Sell it because we can't use it. Sell it. Sell it all. Now, let's see what you have in the secret stash. A son of shotgun. Nice. Do you have any bullets for it? That would be really awesome. 9mm bullets. Well, you have loads of 9mm bullets. 202, which I could buy and use the SMG. Or do you have a gun? No, you don't. You have a crossbow, but it's only level 38. Hmm. And repair is forged iron. Uh, crossbow, I don't think I would know how to repair it. But then we have to make a whole other set of arrows, which I don't want to do. But what I do instead is... I can buy these and these and these. So if, if I buy all of them, that's 7,000 holy balls. And what is about all of them? That's 200. Yeah, we're definitely going to buy them. That's a no-brainer. These guys here, oh, that's 10,000. Oh, 1,000. Okay, yeah, I can do that. That's 35. Very good. At least now we have some options. And what do we have here? Oh, look at that. Only 464. Will that do more damage than this, though? Nah, it doesn't. What a pity, what a pity. That would have been nice. What do we have here? Nah, iron crossbow. We have iron leg armor, which is good. We have cloth armor. But the leg armor probably you would be good. Let, let me see what we have. I think the leg armor will replace the cloth leg armor. Which is 21, 21, 13, 17. I got just the thing for what's ailing you. It is better. It is better. Yeah, and it will definitely time. give a little bit more protection. So if we look at that. It definitely is an increase. And it has a higher durability. So we can sell that back to him then. What do you seek, friend? There you go. Very nice. Now the SMG, we don't want to sell that. Well, we can sell these bullets because there's no point keeping the shotgun slugs, especially if it's only four. So we can sell them. We definitely want to sell that. And not nothing of interest there. He doesn't care. And we're going to keep the petrol. Does he have any oil or gas or anything? No, he doesn't. Interesting. I don't think he has anything else that we need or that we care about too much. Forged iron, it's actually good not having to buy it. It's only 1,100. It's actually good to just buy it. It takes less time, obviously, than making it. Now, our forge should definitely have a few as well. We have a beaker here for 1,000. Do we not have a beaker already? And we don't need it anyway. I was just thinking, we don't need it. So what we should do is we should get... Ooh, small engine. Not really. The hat will cool us down. So we should definitely buy that and wear Safe it. Travels. And does he have a mining helmet or something? Anything with light? I don't think so. Oh, plate trap. Nice. Uh, we don't have any electricity. Tin land mines. They would be good. We could buy them. Yeah, let's buy them. And food wise, a couple of eggs are uh, just one egg. Ah, yeah, we're, we're good on food in the moment. We're good on food. I think that's pretty much it, guys. What do you think? That will give us extra protection. Great what do we have in the moment? 5-5-4, five, five, and that will be... 12, 10, 12. That's better. We definitely have to do that. So sell that. And I think we should buy the coffee. It will be good for us. And... 
We don't need to buy that. We have enough of that. I think that's it, guys. I don't think there's any more we're going to buy. Um, maybe grain alcohol? Because I was told that grain alcohol is better um, than coffee. And we're going to get all the feathers. Yeah, we're going to do that. That's cheap. I think we're doing okay now. Okay. Yes. Oh, the vitamins. I might, I, I might actually buy one vitamin so I can eat all that nonsense and then do that. But he doesn't have any medicine, really. I don't think so. No, he doesn't have any medicine. Chemicals? No, he doesn't. So if I say pills or something, no. And does he have any antibiotic? No. Ah, well. I know we only have a little bit of time left and a lot of the Nomad series is spent running around, killing zombies and getting prepared and grinding, okay? So, um, well, the seven day Horde Knight is a thing. The, the benefit before Alpha 16 was that when you had a Horde Knight, you could just drive off. So you could actually focus on traveling and exploring if you would want to. But I think the way it's designed now is no matter where you're gonna be, they're just gonna come for you, okay? Or they're just gonna spawn in or whatever. Which makes it a must that you have to stay for one night in there, but it also means then you have to prepare, which is a bit sad. But, um, yeah, I don't know. A real nomad with every seven days uh, having a horde is very hard if you don't prepare at all anyway. Because you're not b building is not good enough. I mean, if you have the slightest raising in difficulty, you're going to get, at least by day 14 or 21, you will start getting green zombies. And there is no way in hell without traps you're going to be able to do that. Unless you get very lucky that the guy sells electricity to you. But anyway... What I was thinking would be interesting, we're gonna collect a little bit more stone and some clay. That's not interesting, but that's what we need to do so we can get some cobblestone rocks. And then we should see what the story is in the hospital. I think we should definitely do that because we might find an antibiotic there and we know that the center room is full of zombies that need to be killed. I think it would be very good to go into the hospital. So I just wanna make sure I have enough of these guys there we go, for cobblestone rocks. So I'm just going to be going around a little bit longer to, uh, to grind all this. And then we're going to go home, place the spikes and see what we need to upgrade and um, see w when we can get ready for the hospital. Because I can't wait. That would be very, very interesting, the hospital. I don't actually remember what we said about ladders. I think I said at some point I don't want to build ladders. And another point I said I'm going to build ladders. I don't think we have a choice, to be honest, like because we just have to build something that we can crawl up and i mean i can see myself yeah get a couple of nails cu cu couple of nails couple of planks i can see myself being able to build a ladder like i don't think it's that um unrealistic to do that um let me see where do we come out we come out here so we're gonna have this guy here yeah we're gonna have it here so this is where it will be. Excellent. Okay, one more. Nice. And I think... Yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely. All right, so we have enough wood. I think... Oh, I left the spikes in the in the bike. That That's... Okay, seriously. Okay, I'm just glad I didn't break my legs. <laughs> okay, let's get the bike and let's bring it around. There we go. Nice. Now let's take the spikes out and let's start placing them around. Let's see how many more spikes we actually need. So we're going to have these guys all the way around the building. Except here. Now we might need to have some blocks here and then jump onto the ladder, if you know what... Holy balls, I did not even hear her. Wow! That was literally just pure reflexes because I did not hear her at all whatsoever. Okay, come on, come on, come on. What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Exactly, nothing, nothing is what you're gonna do. That's exactly what I thought you're gonna do. Nothing. Oh, sandwich. We're gonna keep that one because we can now eat dirty food. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know what we said about ladders, but anyway, I need something. It's a bit, it's, it's practical, of course it is, um, because we can actually jump up here, get to safety, yada yada yada. Okay, so we're gonna have to break this. This will be fine. I put my 
axe away, my pickaxe away, because there's only a little bit left on it, and I might need that for something like a big job. Like a weapons crate or something when I come across one. Oh, that was pure reflexes. Oh my dear lord, I'm getting so much better at the reflexes. I should play PUBG right now. PUBG right now, I would... Oh, look at that doggy. <laughs> rabbit. Doggy rabbit. Okay, let's see if we can hit him. No. <laughs> He's too far away. Anyway, this here will be replaced as well with half blocks. That's the whole idea. And then we have a couple of points. At the front, hopefully, is something we can defend with half blocks. We're going to have one row here. So let's place these guys down. And then we're going to put the, whatever, the pathway on top. And that's just how we're going to have to defend. But that's all we're going to be able to do. Um, here we go. Yeah, up the, the stairs, whatever, whichever. And we want to probably destroy that as well. Because it is actually just in the way. That's all it is. Yeah, don't do that. Be careful now, because that dog will come exactly when we don't need him to. So let's take care of him. There we go. Now the dog's AI... Okay, I was just about to compliment the dog on its AI thinking... The dog AI is much better, but no, he also... Seriously? Ah, come on. What a twat. There we go. Yeah, well, he's a little better. Okay. He just went completely sideways. And... ah, oh, he broke our spikes, dude. What the hell? Don't be breaking our spikes. That's like root, okay? Root dog. Anyway, I'm gonna be placing the spikes around here. We're gonna have to get rid of this dude here. Because um, we need to put spikes there. It's just the way it is. And no, we need... There we go. Yeah, that's all I wanted to get rid of. And I think we might have enough to go all the way around. The front is gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass because of the stairs as well. We can't get rid of them. We need a little bit higher tools, smithing, and we need to get a little bit better in um, making tools but i have loads of forged iron on me now i have 60 odd forged iron so we should be able to make better tools once we can level up tools my thing let's place this all around and that is gonna be all the defenses we're allowed to have baby that's everything which means if most of the wall we can't get through it actually what is that what is that okay it's 1200 it should be enough it should be enough okay we just have to make sure that we maybe get a second row of this in. Now, what really annoys me is that ground there, that this got exploded, which is really annoying. There we go. Because it's very hard to get in and out from here. So they probably will dig underneath here, so we're going to have to put some spikes in the pit. Anyway, we're going to put spikes here. They're going to be hopefully walking on top of them. There we go. Nice, excellent. And we have four left, which is really good. So we're going to put them here on the stairs. Either side. There we go. Very nice. Excellent. Look at that. Oh, and hello, cowboy. Oh, that would have been a headshot. There we go. Nice. Nice. Oh, I love it. Excellent stuff. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here, guys, and we're going to go to the hospital in the next episode and see what we can get. We might have to do it in the morning, but we'll see. Night doesn't really matter because everything's running anyway, and I think we have a torch, so it should be interesting. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, even though it was mainly getting ready, but that's what it's all about in the Nomad series. There's not much fanciness we can really do, but either way, if you did enjoy yourself, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. This is the part that's scary as balls. As soon as it gets night, and I mean as soon as it hits 10 o'clock, these guys spawn. Boom, burning guys. They literally spawned. They weren't just walking closer. They actually spawned the moment that clock went off. Unbelievable.